My grandfather and great-grandfather started Junction Auto in 1931. If you want to pay more, that's your business. If you want to pay less, that's my business. sexual imposition, those are felonies of the third degree, and one count of handling and obscenity involving a minor, that's a felony of the second degree. Have you received a copy of the indictment? Yes, sir. Have you read it? Yes, sir. Do you understand the charges against you? Yes, sir. In regards to the felonies of the first degree, Potential maximum penalty can be a sentence of up to 10 years in prison, a fine of $20,000. If you are convicted of either of those counts, the prison sentence is mandatory. Not the 10 years, but at least three years would be mandatory. If you are convicted of either of those counts, you would also be classified as a tier three or level three sexual offender. The significance being that you would have to register as a sexual offender for life. In regards to your honor, may I uh, interrupt real correction, quickly please. on correction on counts one and two, your honor? The allegation is let me make sure I have this correct, your honor. The allegation is that the uh, victim, uh, the evidence, the state police evidence will show that the victim was under uh, ten years old on counts one and two, and. Uh, I believe that would carry with it a, a life in prison. I understand correctly, I'm sorry, but if in fact the state is correct, then there's a potential life sentence without eligibility for the In regards to the felony of the second degree, potential penalty can be a prison sentence of two to eight years classification as a tier two or level two sexual offender. That's an obligation to register for 25 years. In regards to the four counts of gross sexual imposition, potential prison sentence could be one to five years with a mandatory prison sentence of at least the one year. The fine would be $10,000 registration requirement of 25 years being for tier two. Okay, the state believes the evidence will show that the uh, the victim in this case was a, a, uh, a very young minor. Uh, it's it's who was alleged to be the victim previously. Uh, Your Honor, it was a it, a, it was a, a adolescent minor, not a not a young child. Different person. Yes, sir. Okay, so, Mr. Perla, there's no need to state the names for the record. The complaining witnesses? No, the victims, alleged victims. I like the term complaining witnesses better, uh, since whether someone's a victim is yet to be determined. That's why we said alleged. Yeah. The name is un unimportant. No, it's not unimportant. So I'm just asking do we need to state it for the record. Always a pleasure, Mr. Pearl. Thank you, sir. Okay.